Good afternoon, 24 October, 2.50 p.m. We decided to come late in the afternoon just to give them time to get some more uh, progress. Uh, it's been two days since we filmed anything. So we're back, we saw a little dust coming up there. So maybe they're processing cleaning it further than what they were doing. A couple of cows. Let's go in and have a look-see. Door looking rough with some trimming, brown trimming. Okay, we got this one here. Got some gray trim, dark gray trim on it. Step inside. It smells like they're doing some varnish. Looks like they're maybe doing it. I'm gonna get a look see. Most of this is stuff we've already shown, so just a little. Oh, the varnishing's not doing too good, looks like. Just by the facial expression. You got the trim, yeah, they got to do some touch up here. Definitely on the outer edges. I'm sure that's what the plan is. I'm just getting here a little early. A little mess to clean up here and there. Yonder. Kind of looks good though in the room. I think I showed it. That's probably the door that's going to go up once we decide what we're going to do to color the paint or varnish. Uh, yeah, this is all going to get touched up. You know, I know better than that's the, that's not the finished work. We're just getting the frame done. It's kind of a dark brown. We may have to change that later. Sneak peek. Come in here. Hey, Bayo. Yeah. This door here, doorknob, getting ready to go up. Oh, doing a little cleaning over here. Okay. Cleaning room to room. Ceiling's done. Looking good. Got the AC thing over here. I think I mentioned that. Yeah, that's what he's doing, cleaning out the corner there. Again, touch up, touch up to be done. There might be tape, there might be tape there. Uh, we'll see. Oh, this is, uh, is that brown or gray? Gray, right? Okay, I was saying brown, but the shadow. Paint in there. Got the panel box back in. Got a feeling. Got a feeling I'm gonna hear some not so good news here. The way she said, babe. Uh, that's dry there. Wednesday, Corey Jimmy, the well guy, is gonna come back out Wednesday. He said, and get all our uh, equipment moved over there that we have, which is basically the electric pump and the pressure tank now. I don't have a generator yet and I don't have a water filter system yet. That's coming. There's a door that's gonna go here to the back. He just needs to put the handles on all the cabinets here and paint them eventually. I'm gonna go upstairs and doing something on the veranda.
Okay, I'm up here, you can see the shade the tent on the windows have. That's good, see that? That's nice. Got the screens. And you see the brightness comes in here. This is the veranda. There's the cement in here. They're gonna be working on the angle, cleaning up up here, chipping, sweeping. They're on a Marienda break right now. You see where they're laying cement here. Again, the thing is to get the angle before they lay the tile to get the so when the water comes, it all drains. It's a drain over here, drain over there, drain over there, and then one over here. Again, for those you've been with us a while, you know that. For some new subscribers, I'm just pointing some things out here. Nothing changed over here. So just a lot of the tedious work, small detailed work they're working on now. So it's not a lot of huge major progress. The painting, that last room is almost done. Somebody's got some smoke going over there. So, and then we'll see. I do want to take a look here. Probably get somebody to measure these walls for some future. I want to put some stuff up here. Cladding or something here, decorative stone here inside and outside. I also want to tell them to drill me a hole here. I want to put some uh, solar lights maybe in here. One. One in this corner once they get it fixed up. Two. Maybe a third one. Another one here in the middle of here. One here. Middle. Corner. One. Two. Maybe somewhere there. Corner. And then space them out. And just, you know, once they're, they're done with the top. What they're going to do is drill it down so I can put a solar light just so where it sets down in there. Give us some uh, light in here in the evening hours. Save on a little electricity, but we'll figure all that out. We'll measure it. Yeah, I want to put... Uh, I haven't moved this around yet. To the other side. And of course, Jesse still needs to do the bit over there, so... Just a little update on the workers. Uh, this Saturday they're going to be, after the day's work, they're going to head home for two days at the Halloween festivities and the November first festivities with their families and they're going to be back on the second. And then uh, I was told, I haven't gotten an update today, but I was told that we're going to, uh, that by mid-November they should be done with uh, hopefully this veranda. We'll see, depending on the weather, and see what comes up. They're trying to close out the insides now, and then, uh, then they just got to come out here, finish the roofing, finish the rendering, and the rear and the sides, and the front, smoothing things out. Finish up here, finish below here. Basically, they're going to close it, not with this material, but probably gypsum board, put some metal fearing up below us. I think I showed that in an earlier video, right up under this area right here, all the way across. Under here, just to close that so we don't, it's not a nice, so we'll smooth everything up and get it looking good. Uh, so I'm still not sure when we're planning on moving in. It's going to depend on when a little bit gets here. Um, Lady Jazz is uh, preterm labor, is what they call it. It's not an actual labor, preterm labor. She's two centimeters, so he's supposed to be about the third week in November, but we're in the third week, moving into the fourth week of October now. Today's Monday, so I just told him to hold on, boy, till November. November, baby, sounds good, but October, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Beautiful view out there in the distance, right between there. Okay, let's let me go talk to Lady Jazz and get an update. It's, Hopefully it's not uh, any more bad news, but we'll see. And what's what's the name again? Flexiban. Flexiban. <laughs> He's mixing Flexiban for the flooring upstairs. Yeah, for the veranda. Okay. So this goes down first, and then they yeah. do the cement. To, yeah. Okay. All right. Lacker puppy. Lacker puppy. Puppy. Okay. Lacker puppy. Okay. Lacker puppy.
flexible mount. Okay. Okay, we're back. We're here in San Antonio at the paint shop. Uh, we got to get another gallon of the paint, that peach color paint that for the ceiling. Uh, they ran out in the last bedroom. Uh, so we need to get, uh, she's got, she bought a sample, so they're gonna mix it for us. We just need a gallon. Then we're gonna bring that back. And then we got to talk some more with uh, Norman Jesse. Hopefully the guy can mix it. I don't know, I don't like the way he's throwing his hands around explaining that means maybe no, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, maybe he can do it, it's just expression. Okay, just turn it around for a minute. Uh, it's not gonna hurt you, look at my mug for a moment too. Um, just got informed uh, at the house earlier, I, earlier in this video I mentioned something about maybe some bad news and and uh, it's not bad, but it's, uh, our electrician is uh, not coming back. He's got, uh, he's not able to walk. I guess he's got a diabetic problem. And then he was just doing a lot of shaking stuff too. All right, hang on just a second. So anyway, yeah, the electrician's not coming back. Uh, he still has a balance that's, um, but if he's not coming back, the balance is, stays here so we got to talk with the foreman the foreman feels that maybe he can uh, finish uh, the electrical work i mean it's ran it's connected uh just basically hanging lights putting lights in putting switches into the wall uh, maybe i don't know uh, no there's more to it because we got to run electrical out to the pump house there and connect it with the, the water heater and the electrical pump so there's that that has to be done but my concern with that is if uh, as Jesse has a lot going on, he's the welder, he's the, the doorman, he's building the cabinets, um, he's got a lot of jobs. So that, what that tells me is that extends the project out. I don't want to extend the project out. So I have to think about maybe just bringing someone else in <clears throat> to finish the electrical work so uh, Foreman Jesse can focus on the ceiling, uh, the spiral staircase, finalizing the cabinets and the doors. He's also the one putting up the doors while the other guys are doing the painting and the preparations and the veranda preparation upstairs. We're one man short today, James didn't make it today. He had some important issues to take care of. Uh, so Nelson's back, Rebar's there. Uh, Brother Jay, uh, Coyle Ferdinand, as well as Jesse. So I need to put some thoughts in as what I wanna do. Um, just to make sure it gets Communicated clearly, I don't want to extend the project any longer. I'm already having, gonna have to cut it short uh, due to funding, so we'll see. Uh, whatever it is, uh, keep it in transparency. We'll let you guys know uh, in future videos. So for now, we're just waiting for the paint. So here we set. This is the waterproofing of the veranda that they were talking about. And I also saw Corey Ferdinand downstairs on the tiles that are gonna go up here on the back side, the bottom side of them. He was doing the same thing with the roller onto those. So maybe it helps with the adhesive once they lay it down. So we'll see what's going on. They still need to take out that, 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 and that. So that'll come soon, I'm sure. So we'll see. I just wanted to come up and get a, get a look at see what he was doing. They said it helps with the waterproofing, so I'm not sure how. If I can get a clearer explanation, I'll share it. So if, if it's there's a rain, it's not leaking somewhere. The water, that's what they're calling the waterproofing of it, yes. Okay. Yeah. So when, when will they start uh, with the tiles? So after that, uh, after that, we're going to put the tiles on. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, I just wanted because I saw it and, and I saw Corey Ferdinand put it on the bottom of the tiles down below too, so. You can see handles uh, commodity over here, rare commodity because this one got it broke. They had to reuse another piece of, just another piece of wood. Fabricate it, yeah, because it broke. And also they used PVC pipe over here on the sledgehammer, the handle. Uh, but you know, there's still a lot of electrical work to be done. We still gotta talk to Foreman Jesse, so we'll let you guys know.